Here's how to create these chrome and plaid holiday nails. I am in love with this plaid and chrome combination and how it wears beautifully for the Christmas and holiday season. So let me walk you through how to recreate this look. So I'm doing this look on top of dip powder. I love the added strength dip powder gives my nails for a longer lasting manicure. If you wanna see a step-by-step -step dip powder application tutorial, I have shared it with you in the caption. Now for this look, I am using a red dip powder on my thumb, pointer, and pinky. And for the base of the middle chrome nail and the plaid design on the ring finger, I'm using a white dip powder. Once that dip powder is applied, activated, and buff, you want to skip your second coat of activator and go right into the gel. Now, it's a good idea to lightly rough the nail surface to give the gel better adhesion and then wipe away any dust for a nice clean application. So starting with the fully chromed middle finger, grab a no wipe gel top coat. I'm using the one from Beatles. You wanna apply that to the entire nail, including your free edge, and then pop your hand in for a quick 30 second cure. Then grab your chrome powder. I got this one from a kit on Amazon. Using an eyeshadow application brush, dip into the powder and rub across the nail to create the chrome effect. Once you're all done, pop your hand back under the UV lamp for a full cure. Now it's time to move into the plaid nail art. I'm using Beetle's gel liners, a nail palette, and a longer bristle nail brush. The longer bristles are key for getting a straight line when doing that plaid design. So to get started, start your brush near the top of your nail and move it down towards the end of the nail. Let your brush lay flat and do the work to create that straight line. For this layer, I'm using a red gel polish that I mixed a bit of brown into just to deepen the color a bit more. Now we wanna create a horizontal line across. I find it easier to turn my actual finger rather than move the brush, especially when I'm working with a shaky, non-dominant hand. Once you finish that first layer, be sure to cure before moving on so you don't mess up that layer. Now we're going to create a slightly thicker cross on the nail. To do this, I'm using a brown gel liner. Now, a little pro tip to help achieve straight lines, a little cheater method, if you will, place a little mark at the tip of your nail. That will give you a visual to aim for when laying the brush flat, and it'll make it easier to achieve straight lines. I forgot to film it when doing the first layer, but it's definitely helpful for every single layer of this plaid nail art design. Now we do want this second layer to be a bit thicker than the first, so you may have to run your brush over it a couple times to just slow slowly thicken the line, and then you want to move on to your horizontal line, placing it lower on the nail. Again, starting the brush on the nail and rotating your finger to achieve a straight finish. And then once you're done, go in and fully cure that layer before moving on. Now our next set of lines for this plaid design are going to be chrome, but we obviously don't want the chrome to stick to all of the layers that we just did. So to prevent that from happening, we're going to apply a matte top coat. The chrome powder won't stick to this matte layer, so it'll protect everything underneath. And once you're done applying the matte layer, go in and cure the nail. Then using a white gel liner, apply the lines to the inside of those thick brown lines following the same process that we've done for the previous sets of plaid lines. Then cure the gel for a quick 30 seconds. Now grab your chrome powder again and an eyeshadow applicator and rub the powder along that white line to give it a nice chrome finish and then pop the nail back into the lamp for a full cure. Now you wanna get rid of all that excess chrome powder so grab a fluffy brush and make sure you clean up the nail getting rid of all that extra powder. Now it's time to grab your glossy top coat. My favorite is the stain resistant gel top coat from Young Nails. You wanna apply that top coat to each nail making sure you run the brush along the free edge to cap the edge and prevent chips because the last thing you want is to ruin this manicure after all of this hard work. Once that's done, go in for a final cure. Then be sure to give your nails a wipe with rubbing alcohol to remove that inhibition layer and then you're ready to go and enjoy your gorgeous holiday chrome and plaid nails. Now, if you decide to recreate this look, I would absolutely love to see it. So be sure to post it on your socials and give me a tag. And before you go, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any DIY nail tutorials or nail inspo.